the University of Colorado, your near and dear alum, had their oh, first team please. meeting. Had their first team meeting yesterday. They had their first team meeting, Matt. We're trying to be calm. They had their first team meeting yesterday. And the two spear face, spearheads and face figure face of the show program, Dura Sanders and Shiloh were in Paris doing a runway walk. Do you think this is conducive to successful behavior in winning a Big 12 title? in going to a bowl game. I just want to know what you thought of the construction worker, Shadur Sanders, and the camel-wearing baby oil, Shiloh. Please give us your thoughts. Um, um, I, uh, boy. I'll put it like this. <clears throat> I definitely see why people hate Colorado so much. I mean, I, I, uh, you're going to miss the first team meeting when we get back for fa- a fashion show and runways in Paris, bro. I, I know that everybody at Colorado is going to get super pissed off at me for saying this, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not. <laughs> I gotta help you. I gotta dive in and save you, homie. You don't know what to do here, bro. Like, I, I gotta save I you, dude. Hey, man, I, <laughs> I gotta awesome. save you. I gave you, you the know, full pitch. I need to cut this for Matt, dude. <laughs> no, oh, geez, shit. thanks for setting me up like this, you asshole, and making me. This is I, amazing. I, I, I can't get in here, dog. I don't, I don't do the whole fashion thing, number one. I just, it, it's not important to me. And I, Team meetings are important, and I uh, I don't know the answer to this question. Anything I say is wrong. Everybody's going to get angry at me for having an opinion. If I don't agree with them that they should go do their fashionista stuff, then I'm a piece of shit. And if I do agree with it, then I'm a fashion icon or something. I don't know. Man. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't understand the question. Can I plead the fifth? Can I plead the one, two, three, four, five? Can yeah. I plead the fifth, please? I plead the fifth. That is plead a fashion the icon. One, this two, three, four, five. Fa- Dog, like, I'm not a fashion icon. I'm not a fashion icon. I don't, know, fashion what, icon. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm super confused. I don't appreciate the question and how you set me up like this. Oh. And I, I, I mean, they looked good in their hunting gear, I guess, but I don't understand, man. What are we doing? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm Everybody's just going to get super pissed off at me now because of you. And you asked me this question knowing that it would just make me be super, at, like, I, Schmitty, man, what, what am I supposed to do here? What the fuck, uh, man? What am uh, I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do here, man? This isn't cool, man. <laughs> Talk about being between a rock and a hard place. God, I know shit, dude. Like, what the fuck, dude? Did you hear Nat's you know, voice? Of all people, not too, you're asking me. You're asking me of all people. What do I think about the fashion show? Oh, I, I, think, oh, I think it's. I think it's. Can we get this cut for vertical I don't clip? Know how to say this any other way that we probably shouldn't be missing team meetings to <sighs> be in a fashion show. If we don't want to give everyone else ammunition to use against us. And then, like, look, I'm not hating. I'm not a piece of shit. I I don't dislike Shiloh or Shador or Coach Prime. I don't dislike Paris. Fashion's cool. (laughs) Pharrell is awesome. I don't dislike the the fucking – who is he hanging out with? Off take or take off or that guy (laughs) – wasn't he hanging out with him, too, in a club? And then they were talking to him. Yeah, there he is. It's Quavo. Quavo? Yeah, and he's – and he, he said, he's okay. up and you too much motion and they couldn't handle them, but blah, blah, blah. And so, like, is everybody going to get mad at I didn't say that. I didn't say it. I wasn't at the fashion show. I don't know. I'm just trying to wrap my fucking stupid white brain around this, and I can't do it. I don't know what to do. Your I'm brain's so white. I thought it was pink. So hey, confused. what did Takeoff say about him? No, it's just, hold on. First of all, hold on, hold on. that's Quavo. RP to take off. That's Quavo. RP to take off. That's Quavo. Yeah, my bad, man. Again, I don't know. Because, again, that's not me being a dick. I'm just yeah, I know, I know. naive. I guess I don't know. I'm still stuck in 1996. 
All right, right, man, y'all boy need to tighten up. Is. I don't know who landing pad is. Take off. I don't know none of these motherfuckers. I don't care. Can you read it, Big Smitty? So you, well, we well, cannot for be clarity, racist. No, we're not a racist show. We want Smitty to read. What I'm helping. I'm helping my. I'm helping my white people, my white brothers out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, take off has passed away. So it was the Migos was the group. This is the leader Quavo. Quavo, y'all boy need to tighten up. Y'all had too much motion. They couldn't handle the motion. Basically, what that means is like y'all y'all had too much drip, too much swagger during your walk, and the people couldn't handle that. The way y'all was doing, they couldn't handle that. He yeah. also said Shiloh's a big hitter, but needs to work on his coverage. So that's his football talk. Quavo played football in high school, was a pretty good player. So, he, so he's a quarterback. I, I, mean, like I, I have nothing against any of that. Why is it okay for him to say it and not alum? Right. Again, like this is my problem with the entire Colorado family, the entire like fan base is they exactly pick choose, they, they pick and choose who they want to be angry at, and then they're like, Oh, well, this guy's cool, in my opinion, right. quote unquote. So I'm not gonna be mad at him. And this guy over here is not cool, in my opinion, so I'm gonna be mad at him. And I by the way, I don't know how I don't know how anybody can look at this and not be a little bit like what what? What are we doing? By, like, by the way, though, they we're missing, we're missing Quavo, the first landing strip, had take off, whatever the fuck. I don't care, but I, they're not going to be involved in Colorado football in, in, in two years or whenever. Matt is going to be. And that's why I, you know, Matt came out and said, listen, there's not going to be any more involvement by these guys that come out. They're only there now because it's hype. It's hot. Yes. All these but guys are not going to be there to help. They're not it, helping. It's it screwed up, man. It is what right. it is. Is any can anybody else like I hate to say this, but I, I'm like, could anybody else get away with this? Like if I if 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 uh let's just come up with some random player on the team tight in they, yeah, they tight wanted in. to go do something to help themselves, because I guarantee you they didn't do this for free, right? Oh, like it gives yeah. them it gives them followers and attention and social media and you know that there's no, there's a lot of money in that world, and that's cool. No one's hating on this. I'm not I, I'm confused about the timing, but like, are we going to open up opportunities for other people to go do the same thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Is it going to be if, let's say, like somebody has a just a, anything, a football camp? Right, right. And they schedule a football camp and they're going to go make money off of it and it's going to be blown up and there's some, there's some entertainment guy and some some actor or rapper or whatever that wants to be involved or whatever can that kid take the weekend off and not go to spring ball mm. Mm. yeah you are I'm opening just, i'm just saying bro like it seems like uh what what i know i'm wrong for asking this and i'm a piece of shit and i don't care about colorado football and all this other crap that i'm sure is going to get thrown on me when i say this but what what is really the most important thing right now? It's got to be football. It's gotta be. I got to ask. So let me give my coaching part of it because sorry, I am sorry, the same boat as Matt. Having an opinion that doesn't agree with everyone's opinion. My bad. I'm in the same boat as Matt on this on his side of it. When I go out, if I go out on Twitter today and say this is a mockery and a joke of the sport, everyone's going to say I'm the old man on the cloud yelling at the clouds on the porch yeah. and all this yeah. shit, right? and that this is a changed game and blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to figure out what Matt mentioned timing-wise. <clears throat> the head coach is the dad of these two cats that are participating in this event. It looks very, very bad if I'm another player or a coach. By the way, they don't have a D coordinator or a O coordinator, and I've heard, very, I've heard a lot of things I, I won't mention now, but we got a lot of other things going on. Why is – don't start the meeting. See, if I was a head coach, when I was a head coach and I had certain things that I just didn't want to, you know, piss up a rope about, like if I had a kid, let's say, you know, one of my fam big kids, coach, I got a court date, I'm going to miss, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's I've been that. known to push a whole meeting for the fact that I want everybody there and if there's yeah. going to be things I got to piss up a rope against – I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just beat a dead ho horse. I'm gonna make sure if it's for a real valid reason. If it's a bullshit thing, no, you're cut. Get the fuck out of here. If you're not at that meeting, you're cut. How does he look at his team today, or 
coaches or whoever and say, we've already started this off in 24 the same way we ended it. Like, what are we doing? Don't have the meeting today. Get your asses back from this fucking Paris thing and let's we're going to have our meeting on the blah, blah, blah. You're the head coach. You can set the meeting whenever you want. I just think it's a bad optic, and I think I know I'm going to be hated on, but I don't really care anymore. I'm just like, don't miss my meeting. And, and, and listen, I've had coaches that had sons on their team and was like, you ain't missing this fucking meeting, and to his own son. So I'm trying to figure out how this is going to be perceived by a roster that just went through all the shit that this Quavo character just mentioned. Too much drip, too much swag. Cats can't handle that shit. You got your shit stolen in the Rose Bowl. Blah, 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 blah. Like, are we going to change or not? That's all I'm saying. It's a bad look. It's, I guess it's a bad look. I'm just going to leave it at that. That's, that's really that's really all it is right now. It is bad optics. I mean, we all played the game. It's, it's bad optics. You can't really show favorable treatment to any of your players, especially when you're the father of them. You almost got to be harder on your kids damn near just so it, it looks a little, you know what I'm saying, just looks right. So optically yeah. it's bad. Um, but at the same time, I'll say when next season comes along in the event, Colorado goes out there and goes what ten and two or some shit makes you know makes the playoffs. We're not gonna care about this one miss. I, I, we may not care, but this is a this is this is a thing in inside of general manager rooms where they're gonna say what's more important. Mm. And if everybody's gonna criticize Caleb Williams for for everything he does, I mean, this yeah. is giving ammunition to people that don't like colorado and don't like the sanders and don't like shador this is just giving them more ammo and that sucks man we don't need to give those people more ammunition we need to we need to make sure that they're not being fueled with more you know vitriol hate we don't want to give whitlock more ammo like holy <laughs> shit he's gonna, he's gonna go fucking off on this that idiot so like we don't need to do that bro you don't need to give danny cannell stupid ass more ammo He's just going to go dive into this. Like, look what's more important. They're missing the team meeting. And you know what? I I don't know. I don't know how to defend this. I don't know. It, I feel like I, I feel like it's you don't have to defend to defend it. It. I don't think you have to defend it. I think you have to just do you. And like, I mean, as it, look, I'm just going to say, I've been sitting here contemplating whether I should bring this up all morning and I'm doing it. Fuck it. I'm at 5 a.m. this morning. The University of Nebraska was at the facility. All right, I meet with CU. I meet with CU tomorrow. I meet with Coach Lodeholt tomorrow. It's just the way this, the schedules lined up, right? We got Oklahoma in here later this afternoon. We had a bunch of teams last week. You know, coaches come by. They we have a long meeting about the players. We give them information. You know, I'm in the business of recruiting, so that doesn't make me a traitor because I'm meeting with Nebraska. It makes me a businessman. I also sold them body bags. They love them, but they Coach Rule and Coach. Coach Satterfield brought this up, mm. like indirectly, like under, like kind of like, you know, okay. we're, yeah. we're talking football and we're not really focusing on anything but the players, you know, and like kind of like a kind of like a little bit of a, you know, under under the breath jab, like you know, right, fashion shows and Paris trips, and I'm like, well, this is your rival talking shit, and I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, what the hell is he talking about? And I didn't even know what he was talking about until he left. And I had to go back on Twitter and figure out what the hell he was talking about. And I'm like, fashion shows and fucking Paris trips. Like, what, what, what the hell is Coach Rule talking about? And I, it, like, it, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm not even, I'm not trying, what am I going to go talk to Coach Lodehold about it tomorrow when we meet? No. Like, it, <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, we should. We should go to the meeting and do football stuff and then go to practice and do more football. Like, let's just do football stuff. And I don't know what to talk. I don't know what to do about all this other shit because I don't know anything about it. And I wear the same fucking black sweatshirt every day. And, like, I don't care about any of this shit. It's a different world, though. And you are right. I know we're joking and laughing, but, like, even it's, – it's, it's been a lot changed since when I played. You know, I stopped playing 2015. It's been a lot within those last, what, nine years. So, like, I get what you're saying, though. It's like, I, I don't know how to even, like, I don't even know what to say. This is where, this is where I think we're at with when it comes to this NIL stuff in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, players are doing different shit that's not football related to go make money. They're doing like, it, and that's, that's weird. That's cool, but 
the like, timing, yeah. It's when like, can you win in any circumstance? Any football guy, any football guy out there, any coach or player, when is it okay to miss football related activity for personal for personal shit? Like, yeah, I never. When is that okay? Yeah. I don't. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not trying to criticize them. I don't really give a shit. I have nothing to do with this. But I was asked the question, and I'm trying to answer it the best way I know. When is it okay? I've had teammates who was dealing with like. And let me reiterate this, Bailey. Maybe you should cut this into the fucking clip. Um, I'm really, really, really sorry for having an opinion about the place I love, and I don't understand the question. Maybe, and maybe I just sound stupid, but I. When you're a football player and there's a meeting, you should. I don't know, man. I, the 20 fucking years I've been playing football, that every time there was a meeting, if I didn't go, I got cut. And I don't know. I never missed a meeting, so I don't really know what to say here. I don't fucking know. Maybe, I don't know. Every that. time they've changed, maybe you can miss meetings now in, in, in a new age, and that's cool. Like I, 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 Again, then, to Tank Johnson's <laughs> point, Smitty, the fabric, the fabric of this yeah, thing. What does Tank I, say about changes. We get shit changes. But the fabric of it, man, just can't be – you can't lose the fabric of the sport or the game or you're going to lose everything. Have you talked to Weddle about this yet? Yes. What did he say? Can't say. Not happy. What, did you talk to Tank about this? Yes. No, not, 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 not on the show. Not on the show we did. Can't say. <laughs> I mean, no, they're, they're all very – we're all very similar in this thought hey, process. Hey, Tank and Wed and everybody else, help your boy out here, dog. Don't just have me be the only one on the fucking hook over here. You know, dangling like a worm, like, oh, you should go to the meeting. And everyone's like, fuck you, Matt. We don't do meetings around here, motherfucker. How dare you say we should go to meetings, you piece of shit. If I want to go to Paris, then God dang it, I'm going I'm to going Paris. To fucking Paris. Fuck you, you ever been to Paris, Matt? It's beautiful, Matt. It's beautiful. Fuck.